Do you have uh, advice for young people today in the uh, computer science world and software engineering world and crypto world, but maybe in any world whatsoever um, for life, how to pick a career or how to live life in general? I think the thing that, that, that young people should do is, is not any one specific thing for any, any one specific young person. I think what they should do is what they won't be able to do in the later stages of their life. <laughs> yeah. And the way, in my opinion, from a framework point of view to think about that is that the amount of obligations and the amount of time that a person has seems to just diminish over time, right? So the amount of free time they have, right? So you start your job, you get a bunch of responsibilities, some something with your partner or spouse, more responsibilities, kids, probably even more responsibilities. And soon enough, the time that you have to educate yourself, to travel, to you know experience the world, however, create whatever creative endeavor you're interested in, um, slowly but surely disappears. I think this is something that you know young people don't fully realize. They, they assume that the world as it is now and the amount of free time that they have to travel, to educate themselves, to make new friends, mm -hmm. to do all these things will somehow maybe diminish by 10%. It won't diminish by 10%. It'll <laughs> diminish by 90%. Yeah. And the 10% that you have, you'll be resting to get back to work and get things done. <laughs> so yeah. what I think young people should do, and this is why it's very different for each of them, right? I can't tell young people, hey, you should study philosophy, travel, and start um, your own enterprise to achieve something worthwhile in the world, right? That might be something that's good for me with my values and my um, kind of worldview, but for other people it might be something else. I, I think the way that they should conceptualize it is imagine if over the next um, 10, 12 years, the amount of choice that you had about what you could do was cut down by 90%. What would you, and this is, you know, copying from this kind of Jeff, Jeff Bezos regret minimization framework. Mm -hmm. In that framework, it's like, what would I regret not doing at 80? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of meant to create this long-term view and make these decisions now that'll get you to a long-term future that you can look back on and be proud of your life, right? What I think young people should do is they, is they, they should say to themselves, look, if I never get the chance to travel for as long as I live, Assuming that after 25, after 27, after 29, that's the case, how will I feel about that? If I never get to start a company after 25, after I get married, after I have kids, how will I feel about that? And whatever they feel the worst about is what they should do. <laughs> what, whatever they feel like yeah. when they say to themselves, you know, if I don't travel now, I will never travel. And they feel horrible about that. They just have an overwhelming fear and disgust at themselves in that type of state at 25, 27, 29, that's what they should do. And they shouldn't listen to anybody else. Um, I, 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 let, let me put it to you this way. If you're really smart, you're gonna make it anyway. There's a lot of people putting a lot of pressure on you because they're afraid whether you're gonna make it. If you're really smart, you're gonna make it anyway. If you're not really smart, you're screwed anyway. <laughs> so at, yeah, at, either way, just relax with it and use your time well to do the the the, the things you would most regret not doing. That's I, really fascinating. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say relax. I would say very much cherish the free time, yeah. the discretionary time that you have from the age of eighteen to maybe twenty five. Yeah, because at twenty five, everyone's going to start looking at each other and asking. What have what have I achieved? Like my friends have achieved, I haven't yeah. achieved. And then by the time you get to 30, you're gonna look at each other again and go, Well, my friends have a family or a company or a PhD or a whatever. What do I have? And the pressure will just increase. And it'll increase so much that even if you want to go and do the fun thing, it will not be fun because the pressure yeah. of comparing yourself to your friends at 25 or your peers at 30 will be so great that you will no longer, it will no longer be normal for you to be in a hostel at 30, you know, kind of like living it up, right? If, if, 
and 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 this is why I also can't tell you specifically what it is. For me, it was getting an education in philosophy that was rigorous and in depth. It was traveling, and it was starting an enterprise that I thought were, that was worthwhile, that I directed, that I could make into something great. That's what it was for me. For other people, it might be something with a band. It might be something with painting. It might be an education. Um, you, you, by the way, should also should not assume that your ability to get an education will um, improve. Mm -hmm. All of those responsibilities will take away your ability to get an education. Mm -hmm. So if you value having an education, if you value being a, a deeply educated, well-rounded person with a wide array of knowledge on a wide array of topics, capitalism will force you to specialize. That's what it's good at. It's going to take you, it's going to fashion you into a very specific tool for a very m most people, into a very specific set of tasks. If you want to have an education in something, get it now. If you want to travel somewhere, travel there now. If you want to, you know, do some kind of creative endeavor that you doubt whether you'll have time for in the future, do it now. You won't have time for it in the future. You won't have time to read philosophy books all day, unfortunately. You won't have time to fly to, you know, Italy and kind of hang out with people. If you're serious about your life, you're going to get more responsibilities. You're going to get more stuff to do. And so my advice to you is do not piss away this rare, unique discretionary time and if your friends are get new friends <laughs> get smarter yes. friends get people who are using the limited time they have better yeah um that's my advice so it's just a quickly comment it's brilliant you know to reframe high school and uh, undergraduate college education sometimes people want to quickly get it over with but one thing i remember thinking and it's very true about high school. It's one of the only times in in your life you'll get a chance to truly get a broad education. You don't often think of it that way, but it's a chance to really enjoy learning things that are outside of the specialty that you'll eventually end up with. And that's how college education is. And on a more fun side, I played music, I, I did martial arts, and we offline mentioned played video games. I find it fascinating and brilliant what you said, which is the world will will not give you a chance to truly enjoy many of these things and truly get value from many of those things uh, once you get older. I find it exceptionally difficult to enjoy video games now. There's so much stuff to do. There's so, so much, much responsibility. Stuff. And I, at the time when I played Elder Scrolls and uh, Baldur's Gate and Diablo 2 and and at the time I thought maybe that was a waste of time. But now looking back, I realize, cause I always thought, you know, let me get the career first and then I'll have a chance to play video games. That's the way I was thinking. You know, it was a waste of time because I should really progress on the career and then I'll have time to play video games. No, the reality is that was really fulfilling. Those are some of the happiest travel experiences of my life is me traveling to those virtual worlds and spending time in them. And it was really fulfilling and they stayed with me for the rest of my life. And I get to experience echoes of that when I play video games these days for an hour here, an hour there, like one hour a month or something like that. But even those experiences, as silly as they are, that seem like a waste of time at the time, enjoying them fully, unapologetically and in a, in a framework exactly as you said, would I regret being the kind of person who've never played those video games? And I can, for myself, honestly say that yes. Uh, look, when I'm on my deathbed, <laughs> I'm I'm glad I Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I <laughs> built Baldur's Gate too, and and all those uh, Arena, Daggerfall, Morrowind, and all the Elder Scroll games, and um, yeah. The, the things that don't necessarily fit into this kind of storyline of what a career is supposed to be, travel and all those experiences that you mentioned. I, I think I just like to say one 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 final quick thing on on this. Um, I, I think this extends to really hard things as well. It extends yes. to the things you want to do. But one of the best pieces of advice one of my mentors um, gave me early on in 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 my career at, around this time is that it will actually become harder to start a company. As you get older, yes. Once again, because 
you have more responsibilities. You're responsible to your partner for some kind of income to, sh to create a life together. Once you have kids, you're responsible for an even greater income to create a life for kids. And startups do not generate income, right? They take many, many years before anything happens. People are getting evicted. People are eating ramen noodles. That is a thing. That happens. That, that, that will happen. So I'm not saying that you should do the fun things or the enjoyable things. I'm saying the things that you would regret not doing, that you can uniquely do in the time span from 18 to 25. Which one of which is, if you plan to have a family and start a family when you're 25, you should start a company now. You should not wait until a bunch of people depend on you for income to eat to start a company. The amount of pressure that will be on you at that point will be monumental. You should start a company when nobody depends on you and you can sleep on the floor, eating ramen noodles, and still have a great time and show up with a lot of enthusiasm and be excited. So um, I, I just mean whatever you want to really devote yourself to and, and, and really do, don't put it off. Don't go to consulting or banking or, or any other industry and say, I'm going to do this for three years and I'll get experience. The only way you get experience is by doing something. You go, you do it, you fail, you do it again and again and again and again and again, and then you have experience and then you can do it right. That's the only way experience happens. There is no other way short of mentorship. If you're lucky to get mentorship, 99% of people don't get mentorship. And 